Hey guys, I'm from the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Smash Brothers Brawl, the Subspace Emissary. We're on uh, another level just called Subspace. So there's Kirby, and oh yeah, I forgot Kirby like ate the King Dedede medal, which uh, or badge or whatever you want to call it. So when he turned into a statue, uh, I guess he turned out to be okay. And um, I was editing the last episode that I just did, and I was like, oh yeah, I got all the trophies. I'm like, no, wow, no, I didn't, um, because yeah, there's there's Peach right there. So, um, I only collected a few of them, which is why I was wondering, I was like, did I get this character? Did I get this character? Uh, it's because there's there's two levels that are basically, like, the same idea, except now, instead of playing as Luigi, D2D, D, and Ness, I'm playing as Kirby, because why not, right? Um, I hate these bomb head guys. What are they even called? Well, he's running away. There's Zelda. There we go. Woo! Super scope! Nice. Ah, shit. Damn it, damn it. So yeah, um, any character that you don't get the statue for in these two levels, um, you will not be able to play as in the Great Maze. For me, that's not really a big deal, because you can only choose, like, a couple characters. I'm assuming it's the same amount I, I was able to choose uh, during Entrance to Subspace, which was uh, four of them. And if it's four, I'm going to choose my, my basically my mains of this game, which are Mario, Link, Fox, and Ike, uh, for various reasons, to kind of make a somewhat balanced team, I guess. But uh, I know we'll... I'm trying to think of who I actually ended up getting. I don't even remember. It doesn't really matter. I want to get them all anyways, because each trophy, I believe, um, is a bit of a percentage. So. Get this guy out of the way. And, uh... There we go. Ah, shit. I was hoping I'd be able to get that without getting hit, but whatever. Uh, so I do for you, Meta Knight. There we go. I know I have Mario. I remember getting him with Luigi. I don't remember the other ones, though. But yeah, so we got Princess Peach. We got Zelda. We got Meta Knight here. A few other ones. Any character that I don't get, like, I'll just get off screen. Oh, there's Link. I'll get off screen. Or not off screen, but, like, I'll do it, like, on my own time and then record me getting him and show where he was. There's Yoshi. And I'm, like, choosing all the right places to go. There he goes. Lucario. Oh, shit. Ha ha! Oh, the only time I've... Oh, there's another one right there, too. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Come on. I hit him in everything. Well, I, I think that's literally, like, i never gotten past a place with a Buculus. Oh, I guess I could just gone down here. Damn it. Is that it? Oh, no, those enemies. Oh, shit. Spacks. I guess those are, those are called S-P-A-A-K. Spack. Weird names for a lot of these guys. Shit. Yep. Yeah. Wow. How did that not kill me? I'm 185. Shit, shit. There we go. Oh, no. Nice. It's kind of weird. It's just Kirby here, too. Like, he's the only character here. So if I was playing two players, would the other player also be another Kirby? Oh, and now we have a... Auto scroller. I'll, I'll never understand why all of a sudden some levels in this game just become auto scrollers. So weird. Well, the last thing I want to do is miss a gold cube or a character, and I get hit by electricity. That's always fun. Always fun. Kirby's another fun one. I actually like Kirby um, for just like the platforming sections. I'm not super great with him in terms of fights, but just maneuvering is pretty good. He's a, he's a very easy character to maneuver, and he sort of feels similar that he, the way he does in, in actual Kirby games a little bit. And the fact that you can fly is pretty good. Or like, get like I think it's like five double jumps. Or five jumps, I guess. Because if there are double jumps, it'd just be two jumps. It's like five jumps in the air, or something like that. More fighting? Ah, nah, damn. I was hoping they'd be kind of just there. Shit, oh, there we go. So I'm assuming I'll just be Kirby again. It'd be kind of cool if they randomly chose characters, because now that you've gotten all the trophies and stuff, and I didn't get to choose a team, It'd be kind of just cool to be like, all right, well, you saved these characters, so these are the ones who you're going to be. Oh, shit, that was close. So it's kind of weird. Like, if you're really not good with Kirby, this level is probably really difficult for some people because they might not be good with that specific character. And that's kind of what's annoying. Like, in almost every level, you get to... Oh, there he goes. <sighs> just kill that permit just by pushing him off the stage. Um, you get to kind of choose who you want. You always get a selection of characters. So, wow, that was dumb to me. Um, it's, it's kind of lame how in near the last level you're forced to just use Kirby. Like, imagine if you went this whole game without using Kirby because you knew you were bad at him. So it's like, now you gotta. Well, there's Rob. Uh, we got... Let's still keep going. Ooh, what's with the boosters here? Oh, someone up there. I didn't see who that was. Oh, those are the Ice Climbers. Nice. Yay, Ice Climbers. Whee! No, I definitely want to see what's down there. First, I want to... Oh, there's Snake. Get you first. Oh, shit. 
I didn't mean there to be a fight. Oh, it was just that one chicken, but he died. He like basically killed himself there. Um, oh, nice. Gold, uh... Ooh, can I get you? No. Way, way too healthy. Metal box. I've been doing pretty good with the um, percentage stuff. I've missed a few um, gold boxes, like five, maybe five. Uh, it hasn't been too bad, though. It could have been a lot worse, to be honest. I was really afraid this was going to be one of those uh, games where I wasn't going to be very good at finding things, because I don't have this stuff memorized. Um, one of the things, like, I, when I was starting to, to record, I was like, am I really going to do this 100%? Maybe I'll just go on and not really care. And then as I kept going, um, I was like, oh, I found it later as I, as I was just playing with myself, so I guess I'll just add that and, and edit it into the video. And then I was like, oh, well, I guess I, I'm technically making this 100% video again. So I, I don't always plan for them to be, like, specifically 100% like Let's Plays or not. Um, for the most part, I try to tell you guys beforehand if it's going to be or not, so, you know, this one was just kind of a random one. Up the stairs. Oh, jeez, I hate the Amigos. They're frustrating. They're annoying. Ah, damn it. What even hit me? That was just his head. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Oh, it could have been those lasers. That might have been it. That might have been it. Ah. Kirby's, like, not tall enough to get, like, some good hits. I know I can fly, but, like, there we go. Now, now it's good enough. I can just do a jump. Oh, I got a bomb. Oh, shit. I got it. God, ah, everyone, everyone's trying to kill me. Oh, no, the bomb. <laughs> shit. Well, at least he's dead. At least he's dead. And this must be the end of the level, because that, the heavenly lights there. Oh, there's Wario. There we go. Wario. Who just, like, we beat him. Lucas beat him, and then he just kind of, like, disappeared into this world. We get cinematics. Um, there's Ganondorf. I guess it doesn't matter. Hey, Bowser. It doesn't matter if you actually get Ganondorf or not, because this is his uh, trophy right here. So you get him regardless. And um, if I recall correctly, there's a couple of these um, these cinematics that... Oh, jeez, King DDD. Now we're friends, apparently. Um, some of these cinematics only appear if you get the specific characters. Like, there's one that will only appear if you've gotten Wario. Um, there we go. So you need Link and Zelda, and I guess that's what unlocks Ganondorf. Because if you don't have Link and Zelda, this doesn't play out. Unless there's like a video of just one of them doing this, but I don't think so. I don't think they go to that trouble. You probably do need both of them. So Ganondorf does join you. I won't be playing as Bowser or Ganondorf or Wario, so none of the villains. I guess if you count Dedede as a villain, because he does do villainous things at the beginning of the game, then you play as a villain. It's kind of weird. It really shows how very few villains there are in this game. Wario, you're weird. Oh, <laughs> love how like Ness and Luigi are there. And just everyone works together. I love it. Wario's like, fine. I'll help you out. Even though he doesn't know what's going on. Wario's been out of it for, like, half the game. He doesn't know what this is. Look, look at this. It's just like, ah, oh, go to that weird bunch of grapes up there. That's my Wario voice. I don't know. And there we go. All right, we got the great maze. And every level's 100%. I've noticed that entrance of subspace isn't there anymore for some reason. But whatever, not a big deal. Um, but yeah, here we go. The Great Maze. Clear percent is 75%. So believe it or not, the last 25% um, are in this last level. And this level is going to take us a few episodes. It's very, very different. And I'll explain as we uh, kind of go along. Get my guys. Where is uh, there's Fox? All right. So. Yeah, loading. God, the loading in this is so bad. We had some terrible loading screen. All right, so here we go. By pausing, you get this, like, map. And there's only one room so far, because it's just this one room. And um, you can save and change your characters, I think, here? I'm not sure. But um, you get these cloudy doors. And cloudy doors are bosses. And we got... Oh, uh, we got Peter Piranha. And even even though he's got the cages, it doesn't really matter who we, uh, which cage we defeat, or if it's just Piranha, Peter Piranha himself. Um... Please uh, get used to me pausing the uh, pausing the game like every time I'm like in a new room because I, I want to quickly look at the map like not not like like pausing like and like studying it or anything like nothing nothing crazy. Take that, you bitch. There we go. Um, but enough to be like, all right, did I take the right door? And is Mario dead already? Yeah, Mario dead already. Mario is dead already. Wow. Link, you're up. Don't screw it up. Ooh, you got the bunny bunny ears. Ah, shit. Ah, freak. There we go, bunny ears. See this? Peter Brana. Fairly easy boss, even though I've already, like, lost a life, but there we go. Doing much better. Keep rolling into that. It's really silly. Really silly of me. And there we go. You're dead, Petey. 
All right, so basically the idea of um, the Great Maze, it's, it's like I said, it's a, it's a great maze. Very, very big. Um, and it revisits the worlds that that um, we've already seen in the in the story mode. So if I go back here, I'm back here. So you can't fight Peter Piranha again. Um, and right here is just one door. So we still haven't really left the first little area we were in. Where do we go from here? Oh, there we go. We got Sky World. So they're kind of beginning the game, beginning of the game. And the size of the room on the map is like kind of the size of the actual room. So it, it's it, it's not very misleading. Um, I like this the way it's handled. I, I've heard a lot of people really don't like, really don't like the way um, the Great Maze is handled, but I actually don't mind it. Every single block, sorry, Pit is, come here, come here. He has so many jumps. Um, each block is, uh, shit, he's got so much friggin' jumping. Each block is a room, basically, and each little dot is a door. So I wanna make sure I go into every door um, because I wanna get everything. Once you make like kind of a, a roundabout, we're going to be going clockwise uh, and by the end of the Great Maze we'll have made it back to that first room that we were at. Uh, once you do a full round of the map, the, the map will then show you any room that you've missed something. So if there's like a golden um, cube that was there or if there's a shadow door, which is what I'm going to call them I guess. Um, and every shadow door has uh, a boss which is either an actual like boss character you fought in the Subspace Emissary story, or it's one of the, I believe, 40, I forget how many characters are in this game, but one of, you basically have to fight every single character in the game other than Wolf, Jigglypuff, and uh, Toon Link, which are kind of their own thing after the game has been beaten. In order to fight Taboo, the last boss, uh, you do have to fight every single one of these things. So the Great Maze is just this giant place that you can't beat until you visit enough areas and fought every single uh, boss. So I saw there at the map there that going to the left was the right way to go because that was a dead end. So I want to take care of dead ends first because I don't want to continue on because backtracking in the maze can't be easy. It's got to be frustrating. Um, I'm, oh, this is where I came from, I think, isn't it? I just got to double check. Yeah, okay, it is. Um, can I restore my guys by doing this? Oh, yeah, there we go. I got Mario back. So it doesn't actually put me back as Mario as if it was like when I chose them. So it just refills the characters that I've been using. That's pretty cool. You probably exit, I'm assuming, and then like re-choose some characters, but I'm probably gonna go through with just these four guys. They're my guys. So um, I'm assuming once you get a little further, uh, there'll be shortcuts and stuff around the subspace or around the the Great Maze. So it's I don't know. People seem to when I was looking up like like researching this level because I knew that the Great Maze was coming. I was like I don't want it to be difficult. And then I just looked it up and I was like, oh, it doesn't seem that hard. I don't remember it being that difficult. Um, it just, you know, pause the thing, go to where you think you should go, follow the doors. And, um, people online seem to have a lot of trouble with the Great Maze. Like, a lot of people are like, yeah, I've, I've looked everywhere and I'm still not able to fight Taboo. Who am I missing? And it's like, well, look at your map, I guess. I don't know. Your map shows every single door. And after you do a full round of the maze, it tells you any shadow door you've missed or treasure you've missed. So I don't know how people can have trouble with this. Fairly straightforward, at least in my opinion. Watch like two episodes in. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know where I'm going. Hey, Link. Shadow Link. Dark Link. Unlike in Zelda 2, I cannot uh, just <laughs> duck and stab away and win this like you can in the original uh, Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. But um, none of the bosses are. I'm like, I'm playing on this on normal, right? So it's not really difficult. And plus, I'm actually using the characters I'm fairly decent at. So these, uh, these fights shouldn't be too difficult. Come here. Oh, shit. Come on. Just them avoiding me. Oh, don't get that. No. Oh, whoa. Why did they why did he avoid that? It was clearly a good mushroom, too. Weird. There we go. Come on. And these are much like they're very much in like normal fights. Like they're they're not good, like I don't know. When you play like Smash Bros. Melee and you're playing on like very easy, like a simple tap is enough to like send a guy flying. It's hilarious how easy it is. Oh wow, I've got a lot of doors here. Alright. One, two, it looked like six extra doors. And like weird shadow, like not shadow, like like sun doors? I don't know what that symbol is on there. Oh, okay, it's like a little save area. Cool. Wow, one already. So, like I said, this might take a few episodes. Um, I don't know how many. We'll try to see what we do and how we do. Um, unless I'm doing some major backtracking, I'm not gonna cut. There's no point, I mean. This is, oh, I get, okay, yeah. This is very much like 
a, an area we've already done here. Is there anything over here? Nope. So a lot of these rooms are rooms that we've already done in the Subspace Emissary, which is kind of cheap. I mean, this is a bit of a cheap way to like kind of prolong the game, but whatever. As long as it's like new challenges and uh, I don't really mind that the layouts of the levels are the same. It's really like what I can do in them and what kind of challenges are there that matter to me. In here. In the end though, I want to be thorough. So if I'm taking too long in a specific era, er, era, area where I have to backtrack a lot, like I'll cut those areas or those parts out because yeah, shit. Wow, I was just pushed and like dropped. Well, Ike it is now. Ike is not a great platforming character, but he's strong as the boss. That's that's one of the reasons why I brought Ike, by the way. Um, hopefully, if I can hit with a side smash, which is like such a powerful side smash, um, I should be able to take care of like those shadow clones pretty easily. So. There's nothing in there. And I mean, if I do a full round, it, it'll show me where things are. And, and if I'm missing any uh, golden cubes, then I'll just like quickly cut to those places so you guys can see that I did get them. Or like, to show any specific like fun rooms, there might be some challenges or fights. It might be fun. Uh, so question of the day. Um, I don't believe I've asked this question already, but I mean, because then this is like the 15th episode. Ow. <laughs> You'd think I would have asked this by now. Who is your main? Who do you use in Smash Brothers? Um, and if you played multiple Smash Brothers games, who do you main in all the Smash Brothers? There are basically four Smash Brothers games right now until Ultimate comes out. I, I, I know the 3DS is technically considered its own game, like according to Sakurai. Like Smash for 3DS is the fourth one, Smash for Wii U is the fifth one. But in terms of like the way the gameplay is, the game is identical, so. Um, in the 64, I play as Fox. Um, in Melee, I play as Mario. Um, Maybe a little bit of Fox, Link. Uh, in this one, uh, Mario and Ike are like my main, main guys. In Smash 4, um, I, I play around a lot. Like, Mario's always going to be one of my mains in the more modern Smash Brothers games. But do you see how crazy good? Like, look at this Smash! It's crazy. I mean, obviously, if Blank is a human, they're smart enough not to screw up like that. Um, but yeah, I play as Mario as one of my mains in, in most Smash Brothers games because, you know, he's pretty much unchanged for the most part. Uh, but in Smash 4, I like uh, I like using Pac-Man, even though I'm not good with him, but I do like using him. And I enjoy using Cloud a lot, too. But in terms of, like, who I like using, my god, there's so many characters. Like, I love using Mega Man, I'm just shit with him. Same with Meta Knight, like, I like him a lot, but I'm not very good with him. But anyways, uh, who are your mains? Who do you use? If you're playing, like, if you're playing for real, like, I'm not saying, like, if you're competitive or, like, pro or anything like that. But if you're, like, hanging with some friends and you're like, alright, let's play some real matches, who are you playing? That's that's what I want to know. I hate you, Gamiga. I want to hit the thingy. Oh, is that a good mushroom or a bad mushroom? Oh, it's like a good mushroom. Shit. Good mushroom? Whoa, why did I go through that? Whoa. Ah, shit. That was like the second... Maybe that's... Oh, maybe that's like the, the clicker. That's what tells you if you... It's, whoa, shit. If it's a good mushroom or not. Like, it maybe gives you like... All right, look, you went through it. Be smart and don't go get it again. I wonder. I don't know if that's true or not. Why can I not hit this stupid thing? Fine, I'm just gonna attack Amiga the old-fashioned way. I was trying to hit that, like, bumper up there, but that was not working out for me. Jeez. Oh, well, I do want this guy. There we go. Ooh, a laser gun. That would've been helpful, like, five seconds ago. Now I hit it. Jeez. Smack. Smack. There we go. I like the, uh, like... One thing I've always liked about Kirby games, and this does it a little bit too, but Kirby games really do it well. Hello, Slippy. Um... Are, are like chain reaction things. I love that stuff. When you hit like a bomb, which like blows up the room, which does a bunch of other things. Um, hello, Diddy. One of my favorite things about Kirby games, um, they, they do at least one of these types of, wow, Diddy. Diddy's always giving me trouble, man. Whether I'm playing as him or against him. Uh, yeah, one, one of the things that I like about Kirby games, they do at least one room like this in every Kirby game. But it's like a, sh whoa, jeez. Um, a, a room where you set off a bomb and you have to race the bomb to the end. And uh, I just like those. Anyways, um, we're at the 20 minute mark, pretty much. And I just fought a Shadow Diddy, so this should be should be good. Oh, it's a nice big room with multiple doors. Yeah, okay. I'm Felder Blanks. I'll see you guys next time for more Suspense Emissary, The Great Maze.